Okay, welcome back to another exciting edition of Nightcrawler Garage. Today on the bench we've got the Die Hard Platinum uh, Jump Starter. And a while back, well, so a little history on this. I put a new battery on it, you know, when I bought it. Of course, it had a dead battery. I got it at a decent price, I guess. And so I put a battery in. So it works great as a jump uh, starter. It's, uh, yeah, so like I said, it's got the good battery. Uh, but I was using the air compressor on it, and it worked when I first got this going. And then uh, one day I was running it, and all of a sudden the, the tone changed. Like the load just went away, and it wasn't putting out any air. So I've kind of seen this before because I've got another jump pack that had similar issues, and that's this little... Uh, power station it had a compressor issue and I put a battery in that one too stole some parts out of another unit and I got that one going so anyway so I tore this one apart or I am tearing it apart and wouldn't you know through a rod man not really through a rod but the uh, pin came out uh, it's probably kind of hard to see I'll see if I can get a good shot of that I uh, can't get the light in there. Let's put the light over here. There we go. Anyway, that little pin goes... Yeah, it's hard to show it because I can't get the camera in where it needs to go. There you go. So the pin goes through the connecting rod there in the center and then that hole on the left, it's all got to line up. So I got to figure out how to get that pin in there and make it all stay together. Um, so that shouldn't be too hard but um, so that's one issue the other issue with this is the uh, the 12 volt sockets don't work which is a huge disappointment neither one of these things work and so I haven't done a lot of troubleshooting but I've got 12 volts here but the when I go across these two I don't get 12 volts but if I if I go with my probe here and then go to the battery negative, I've got power, but I'm not getting either I've lost ground or I don't know what. Um, there's a couple of fuses in here, 20 amp fuses. I'm going to check and see if those are blown. I'm hoping maybe it's just a fuse. So I've got some more fuses. So anyway, I'm going to try to fix the compressor and then get those two sockets working. The USB on here, I checked out, it works. And it's also, this also has a, uh, an inverter in it. It's, uh, I want to say it's 100 watt, I think. It's, uh, mod it's not modified. Or, yeah, it is modified sine wave. That's not a true sine wave. Anyway, it, it does work, so that's kind of cool. Got 110 volt, two plugs there, so. Yeah, I'd like to get that compressor fixed and get those two sockets working. All right. Okay, YouTube, so I got the cylinder head off, and I just put the pin in there. I'm thinking about maybe just putting some red Loctite on there where it goes into that counterweight. It's not a super-duper tight fit, but I can't think of any other way to do it. Um, otherwise, i got to try to take that counterweight off and braise the back side, and then i got to press it back on. I think I'm going to go with the red Loctite. If it doesn't work, then I'll have to go with a different plan, but yeah. So I'm going to do that. Another thing I remember with this, I just remembered on this unit, problem it has is it wouldn't uh, recharge. You're supposed to be able to, you know, plug it in. It's got a 110 volt place. You plug in a extension cord and it would never charge up. So I need to look into that. The way I charge it is I just use my, uh, 12 volt car charger and I just hook it up to the jumper cables and put this in jumper jumper mode and then charge it through that but that's kind of a pain You're supposed to be able to just plug it in so I got to figure out where the charger is I know that unit there just has a little this one just has a cheap little wall wart like you plug into a wall and they've got that kind of sitting in there and it works fine plug it into 
110 like well right now it says it's fully charged but yeah so I'm gonna try to look into that too but so I think I'll Loctite this and put it back together and then try to figure out these things and figure out what's going on with the charging port okay I got the compressor all back together I'm gonna let that sit probably overnight um, let that Loctite dry hopefully this thing will work and I'm probably gonna put a little grease on the gear maybe some lithium based grease or something on there okay I'm gonna start working on the other problems okay I pulled the fuses out this top one here is blown it's 20 amp and you can kind of see it on the left corner the other one's fine so I'm just gonna replace the one and see if this works okay let's try that okay I replaced that fuse put both pieces back in got a little chest here I got my cheap little compressor hooked up to this tire let's see if it works oh wow I don't know if that's going to inflate. Oh yeah, it's doing something. I don't see anything on the gauge. I don't think that gauge works. That's not working though. Oh yeah. Very nice. Okay. So yeah, it was just that one fuse. Okay, so unfortunately this has, that, that right there, that's the power supply board. It's a lot more sophisticated than that other unit I have. So that's the last thing, figure out uh, what's going on there. So I'll have to probe around and see why it's not getting good output. All right. Okay, I've been trying to troubleshoot this board here for this uh, trickle charger and I didn't know what this component here was. It comes right off the primary and uh, it says F1 on the board. I didn't know what that was. Well, there's no continuity so it goes through that component from this trace, well I can't, there we go, from that trace to here there's no continuity well guess what that was a fuse uh, it's a 1 amp 250 250 volt fuse so I can get these online but what I want to do is I want to do a little test I'm gonna unsolder it take it out and then I went to the hardware store and I just bought some glass fuses and uh, where is it hold on you know, I bought some of these uh, round glass fuses, one amp, fast acting. And then I went to the automotive store and I just bought an uh, inline fuse holder. This is like super big gauge wire. I was hoping to get something smaller. But uh, I'm just going to temporarily set this up and uh, then power it up and see if we get any... Uh, 12 volt DC out of here if it blows the fuse immediately then there's something wrong with the board and uh, then we'll go with plan B I've got another idea but that's where we're at okay I got that temporary fuse set up in there and uh, you can see the green LED is on which it never was on before so that tells me we're making uh, DC power so I'm gonna hook the battery up um, the battery voltage right now is 12.6 so I don't know if it's gonna charge but I'm gonna hook it up and see if we get a charge so 12.6 we'll see if that goes up with the unit hooked up okay well I plugged it in but I don't see any difference so I don't know it doesn't look like it's charging hmm all right Okay, there must be something else wrong. That LED went out again. I checked the fuse. It's still good. So there must be something else wrong with this board. It was getting DC, but not anymore. 
So, yeah, it could be a bad ca capacitor or something. Yeah, so I'll probably just go with plan B. I'm just going to charge this with a trickle charger. They've got a really nice little one at Harbor Freight for it's $5.99 with a coupon. So I might just go get that because I don't want to mess with this thing anymore. I just, I was hoping I could get that to work, but it's going to be more trouble than it's worth really. If I got to put a bunch of parts in here, it's not worth it. Okay. Well, more problems. So I put the compressor all together and fired it up and I think it blew a fuse. Anyway, what's going on is it's jamming up. It turns part way and then it jams up. So I'm gonna have to take it apart. Oops, gotta get it in the frame. Hold on here. Turns, 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 turns. Then it's locked right there. And then I can turn and it locks in the same place so I gotta figure out what's going on okay yeah you really can't see it but I marked the bad spot where it jams up so I got a sharpie mark see it coming around there and when that spot comes around right there that's where it jams up so I'm gonna play around with this got some ideas what I think I might try to do, I think the shaft is probably bent. But I'm thinking about taking a file and filing down the teeth a little bit. And I may even have to file that section a little deeper just to give it some less resistance, but I can't go too crazy. But um, I think I can get this going. Okay, folks, I think now we're getting somewhere. So it doesn't have a bent shaft. It actually had a bad tooth. I think what happened when the uh, rod came off of the uh, crankshaft, you know, this thing probably, at one point it jammed. And this little motor has a lot of torque and it just destroyed one of the gears. So I use a special file. Um, well, I don't know if it's special, but this is called a knife file. I don't know if you can see that, but it's basically it's like a knife right it's fat on this side and thin on this side this is great for working on gear teeth and I've used this a lot of years these are a great tool to have I'd like to get more of these different sizes um, yeah so I'm gonna do a little more work on this but I've been test fitting it stick the motor in and turning it's got it's a little a little rough but it is turning all the way around so a little more and I'm gonna hook power to it okay There you go. Hopefully it doesn't throw a rod on us and blow the camera apart. So we're making air. We've got a valve in there. Okay, I got the die hard jump pack all back together. Like I said, I was never able to get that charging board to work, so I just left the fuse out of it. <clears throat> and then I uh, went to Harbor Freight and I bought this little Centec float charger. Um, it was $9.99, but I had a coupon, so it was $5.99. So I'm going to get this out and hook it up, and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, I got the float charger hooked up. <clears throat> so the way that I do this, I keep the cables away from each other. This might beep. Every once in a while this thing will beep when it's in uh, jump start mode. So if you hear that loud beep, that's what it's doing. <clears throat> so you want to make sure to hook up your, make sure your charger is hooked up to the one with the cable, or at least you've got contact there. I like to hook it directly up like that. And then the positive one, I put it up here just so that these don't accidentally touch together and I do the same thing. I've got it kind of, well, it's just clamped in there. Um, so yeah, it was 12.5 volts when I, um, before I hooked up the 
trickle charger. Now it's saying in the instructions that this is just for maintaining the battery. It says it doesn't actually charge. So I have another, I have a couple other chargers um, if this doesn't work, but I mean it was pretty cheap. So this is something like if you're going to leave a car sit or a motorcycle sit, it'll maintain whatever voltage um, the battery's at. So what I may have to do is just put the uh, other charger on there if I want it to charge higher. But like I say, it's already gone up to 12.7 and 12.5. So um, I'm just going to see what it does. I'll leave it on there for a while um, because it says it will, the maximum output is 13.2 volts. And it says battery capacity is 5 to 125 amp hours, and that's a 22 amp hour battery. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it on there for a while and uh, just see what it does. Okay. Okay, my voltmeter is showing 12.83 volts. And I don't know if you can read it, that says 12.8. So it is putting a little charge on it. I've got another charger. I might hook it up and just see if it goes higher. Like if I have one that will, I know my car battery charger will go like over 13 volts. So um, I just wanted to try this out. I mean, I think this would work as long as it's not too discharged. It'll get it up to at least 12.8. So that's good. Okay, so yeah, it's it's going right up there, 12.87. The meter here showing 12.9. I also bought this little uh, Viking charger at Harbor Freight. It's about forty dollars. So I'm going to hook this one up real quick before we get the sink charged up too high and just see what this does. It's a four amp charger. All right, let me get this hooked up. Okay, I got that little Viking charger on there. I haven't plugged it in yet. Um, the battery voltage went down to 12.57, showing 12.6 on the diehard. So let me see if I can plug this in. Okay, uh, one interesting little uh, update here. So I was reading the instructions. It's got this, you know, this meter here. And eventually when this is done, it will, you know, just like a cell phone, it'll show all the bars. It'll be like solid. Um, when it's finished. So as long as it's pulsating like that, it's still putting a charge. It's it's charging and then it'll back off and kind of see where the battery level stays and then eventually when it when it's done it'll it'll be all, all the bars and it'll just stop automatically. So that's kind of neat. So yeah, like I could say I'm gonna let it charge for an hour and I'll check it. Okay, it's been about an hour and it's still not fully charged. It's up to 14.3 on there and it's showing 14.1. It's almost full charge. Now, the instructions say that, uh, well, we can read that. And when it's fully charged, the battery symbol will be, you know, full and then the backlight will turn green that means it's just in maintenance mode so it hasn't got to maintenance mode yet but it must be getting pretty close so I think I'll leave it another hour and uh, I want to see this thing turn green alright we'll come back and check it later Uh, so yeah, the screen finally turned green and it's at between 12.8 and 13.1 and it's showing 13.1 on there. It's probably hard to read and the voltmeter, it was at 13.1. So it's kind of just doing the maintenance thing now. It's in maintenance mode. So I left it on there all night and yeah, I think we'll take this off. We're all done.